it's Richard of Richard's Guitars and today I want to show you this beautiful guitar. Uh, it's a 2021 model from D'Angelico. Uh, it is called the Atlantic. Um, now then, uh, the reason why I want to show you this today is because 2021 has been a massive year for D'Angelico guitars. It's a brand that I don't feel has really come across in my videos. I don't think I've done enough of them. So I thought, well, as the range has developed so much in 2021, I'm going to try and start my little ball rolling with my videos uh, again with um, introducing you to the D'Angelico range. So any D'Angelico fans out there, it's going to be fun. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start with this one because the reason I'm going to start with this one in my hands here, uh, this uh, being, as I said, the Atlantic, is because it is stupidly affordable, uh, around about £700 if you look at our website. I won't mention the exact price because it'll probably fluctuate um, a little bit with different things going on in the world. Um, so about 700 quid. So look at our website and um, you can see the exact price. It's incredible how you can, you can get guitars for 700 quid in the market that they're all a bit samey and a bit similar-ish and the quality is, is okay. But how many guitars really stand out at that price point? Uh, very often it's a kind of a brand name that has got one of its cheaper models and they do them at a cheaper range, um, but they're kind of a bit meh, you know, a bit av like, like, I don't know, I, I, I rarely pick up a guitar at 700 quid and, and I'm excited about it, about it, which is why I do very little guitars at 700 quid. Um, so with that said, this guitar is just mind-blowing. Now, hopefully, and I'm going to put some links into some good videos online where you can see better people than me playing them, but I want to talk to you about why, I'll play a bit as well, but I want to talk more about why these are special guitars and why you should be looking at D'Angelico if you want this kind of style of instrument. So, talking of which, what style of instrument is it? Um, I would put D'Angelico as a range kind of in the classic rock, blues and jazz genre. And what they've done beautifully is they've made jazz cool again. I mean, I kind of feel like D'Angelico are making jazz cool. Um, you should see some of the players that are playing jazz fusion styles and they're playing D'Angelico guitars and, they've, and I think they've chosen D'Angelico because you've got this, which is what I'm going to show you, this beautiful blend between old and new and this is the key to them. They've not l stuck in the past, they've been inspired by the past and in past styling um, and these D'Angelico guitars very much uh, go back and, and take from the early D'Angelico guitars of yesteryear, but they've brought in, they fused that with modern updates, which are going to hopefully blow you away as they've blown me away. Um, okay, so that's kind of that's kind of where we're at. Um, so I think kind of classic rock, blues, jazz, any of that kind of stuff, you're going to love a D'Angelico guitar, and you really should be trying one. Um, so let's now look at why I like them for this kind of money. Um, First of all, we're looking at a Premier series. So what you have with D'Angelico guitars is Premier, uh, then you go Deluxe, and then you can have XL. But in the solid body guitars, you've pretty much got Premier, and then you have uh, Deluxe. And we'll talk about the, 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 what you get extra in the Deluxe in, in another video. Uh, so I'm gonna try and keep this as short and sweet as possible. Just, you know I don't do that very well, but I will try and keep this nice and simple. So uh, let's try and do that now. Um, so we're looking at the Premier and it's a 700 pound guitar. Okay, 700 pounds. So what do we get for our 700 pounds? The first thing that I find, and I'm sorry, because it's a very hot day today, and I must admit, I've, I've, I should have, <laughs> I've just been having a quick play on it and I've, I've put my greasy arm on it. Um, so apologies for the greasy marks on here. It's really hot and stuffy up here today. Um, but what you've got is this beautiful, this one is a black metallic finish. Okay, and it's also available in this beautiful oxblood finish. Now this one next to me is, look at that, it's incredible. Now this one is the Brighton, okay? Now both of these guitars are incredibly similar. So although I'm going to be playing this one, uh, our, our um, Atlantic, the Brighton is pretty much the same guitar, but with a double cutaway uh, and slight variation on that cutaway, okay? But they're the same thing. So when you look at the catalogue, this is pretty much the same as this. 
But let's go through some of the specs about why I think they're so gorgeous. The metallic finish is all rather lovely, but you've also got this beautiful, what they've done for 2021, it's made all of their, their um, perloid, anything that's got perloid in it, it's got this beautiful vintage uh, colouring. So there's nothing, I don't, I'm not a big fan of bright white perloid. Um, so it was such a nice thing to see that they they kind of toned it down with this beautiful cream, which kind of reminds you of the old jazz clubs and something, you know, you can imagine someone smoking cigars and cigarettes or whatever. Um, not that that's cool, obviously. Uh, smoking is not cool. Uh, but I don't know why, it goes with jazz clubs and it kind of gives you this cool vibe. And yeah, cream, cream is better than white. So a big, big plus there. So when you see the white on, this is a great example, that cream on the black I hope you'll agree, it's, it's pretty gorgeous. So that's the first thing, that's the kind of finish. Um, they all have the binding, a beautiful binding, and um, with a little bit of piping that goes round, okay. Um, I'm trying not to show you the really exciting bits. Anyway, I'll show you. So as you flip it round, well actually, yeah, look. Kind of retro, cool, right, old school. What I was telling you about before, about how do they fuse old with new. So that's kind of a really funky, I think, pretty, old classic looking guitar until you flip it round and you see this okay so that's the neck joint and that is crazy um, if you want to do a bit of let's see oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put a bit of a uh, put me on Um, I can go as high as I want up there. I could go as high as I want up this fretboard and because that neck joint is so utterly, utterly perfect, it just literally feels like, you. once you play a neck joint like this, you're like, you want everything to be like this because it's just so natural and obvious that that's the way it should be. Um, D'Angelico do it on all their solid body electric guitars and it really is super cool, really is amazing. Um, so the neck join is fantastic. 700 quid, get a neck join like that, it's amazing. Um, and then once you start looking at that neck joint, you might see the, the piping and the binding. And I just think this kind of attention to detail is something that really needs to be talked about. So for example, that, that little sort of double bit of piping there on the bounder edge board, and then you go to this beautiful uh, little line as well on the top surface of the bind. So that, you know, I don't think it's too much, I don't think I'm overplaying the fact that that level of detail on a 700 quid guitar is really top notch. Um, you, then you've got the, bind, the bound headstock going to Grover machine heads. Everything is top draw, everything is top draw on this guitar. Um, and then we've got Duncan Design pickups. Now Duncan Designed, they are Seymour Duncan pickups but they're made in the Far East. So what you've got to bear in mind is with something that's Duncan designed, because I can tell from listening to these pickups, they're absolutely beautiful. And we'll have a quick listen in a minute. Um, excuse me. Um, they're Duncan designed pickups, but because they're made by Seymour Duncan, or spec by Seymour Duncan, you can imagine all the windings, all the materials, they know exactly what they want for it to be a Seymour Duncan sound. It's just being made in the Far East. So you get some extraordinarily good pickups in these guitars. And again, I'm sure that would be echoed if you, I'll give you some links to other videos where, you know, other, other independent. The trouble is when I sell the guitars, you get, oh yeah, yeah. But I'm hopefully, you know, I only sell guitars that stand out and I only sell guitars that I truly love. Um, so um, I'll stand by these pickups and they are superb. When you talk about the pickups, you then got the coil tap. So let's say for example, You've heard the oil taps, you don't need me to tell you what. But here's the old... Um, on the, we're on the back pickup. That's a gorgeous sound. Uh, I'll, take, I'll take the delay off. Put the uh, coil tap on. And so, and I'll take some of this over so you can hear it properly. Real 
good crisp clean. <laughs> Uh, so that's that. Um, so that's the single coil sound, so really versatile. So we've got this lovely, um, bright, clear, single coil sound, whacking the humbucker, and immediately you hear the different... And isn't that great? That is, I mean, that's the back pickup, but it's got real guts to it. really gutsy sound. Um, obviously neck pickup. Well, I, I've got the tone rolled off because I do that sort of jazz. Yeah. Thundering, thundering thick tone. So, so the, the tone of the guitar is a big, big thing about what I love about these guitars. They, um, they don't sound generic in any way, they sound really vocal. Turn off a bit. Lovely. So, um, yeah, absolutely beautiful sounding uh, guitar. 700 pounds. Um, crazily, this guitar's got a basswood body, so that brings in, which is your sort of what you might call the most generic body wood for a, for a guitar, electric guitar. People don't get excited about basswood, but this guitar, why would I care or need anything else? I, it, it makes it very hard to understand, you know, what extra, you know, it brings in question marks over the whole sort of mahogany versus basswood. Uh, and in fact, they do a, a mahogany version of this in blue as well. So we'll, we'll, uh, I'll give you a link to that in the catalogue as well. And it might be nice for me to do, I haven't got it here with me right now, but maybe I should do a video of the mahogany versus the basswood and do a bit of a play test and see whether either of them do sound that much different to each other. Um, because as it stands, this is a basswood guitar, which is considered the most affordable wood to use, yet it sounds absolutely extraordinarily good. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to know um, if, if, if mahogany brings you anything extra. So we've talked about the uh, lovely neck join, we've talked about the, the, the beautiful bindings. Another thing that I love about this guitar is the beautiful string spacing. It's got, it feels like there's more string spacing going on, so my fingers get in really easily. My, my fingers just get into the strings and I, I, it just feels like the string spacing is a little bit wider than on, on many guitars. Um, it's, it's, it's a characteristic of all the D'Angelico guitars, they have this lovely string spacing. So um, might be worth you, sort of if you've got sort of fatter fingers, I think you might find a D'Angelico worked quite nicely. So that's something to bear in mind. Also it has a flat fretboard, the fretboard's very flat, the radius is flat. Um, again, lends itself to faster playing styles, and um, so whether you are a bit of a virtuoso jazz guitarist or a rock player, you're going to love this guitar. It's going to it's going to really uh, be very very easy for you to play those fast guitar lines. So um, what haven't I told you? Uh, Grover machine heads. So let's whiz through from top to bottom. Grover machine heads, big, big plus. Really lovely to see on the guitar. Wonderful cosmetic details, uh, as you'll see, the, the, the most beautifully styled, lovely piping with, on, on the uh, bindings. Obviously, lovely block inlays. Incredible quality of finish all round. You have this lovely heel joint, which is a massive bonus for anyone who's looking to uh, get to uh, the higher end of the fretboard. You've got the twin coil taps, you've got Seymour Duncan pickups. So yeah, all in all, even this, the cut, if you see there, that little bit of comfort contouring on the back, again, on this style of guitar, you don't always see that, but it's just so beautiful. It fits you like a glove. Your body just goes in and it just feels so incredibly comfortable. Um, so yeah, brilliant little guitar, 700 quid. And bear in mind the Brighton here too. 
which is follows all the same kind of concepts and uh, check them out in the catalog so there you go that's the d'angelico atlantic uh, premier series 700 quid i hope the video is useful and Tell me if you've got any ideas about which video you want to see next, what are the D'Angelico guitars, because uh, we have them all here and um, can't wait to show you them. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.